Hello and welcome to the Cobb Bros Podcast. I am David, and as usual, I'm joined by my co-host and friends, Cyrus. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Oscar. Hey, how's it going, everyone? And Colton. Oh, yeah? <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. All right. Beautiful. Welcome Absolutely to episode beautiful. 32. Number two. Because no, we yeah, have... 32. Re- Revision two. <laughs> Revision two. Thank you. Yeah, we uh, we got a good way through it. I remember time stamping about forty five minutes, and uh, something terrible happened, and we lost the recording. So here we are trying again. And Without Brandon, unfortunately. Yeah, we are missing Brandon, but it is a soul for a soul, and tonight we have Oscar. A soul for a soul. <laughs> Trade it off. We're going to see if we can get a clip with Brandon at some yeah. point before this week's upload. However, yeah. you, you won't get first round pick now because I am here. So I'm sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> okay. With the 199th overall pick. <laughs> Oscar. Hey, guys, it's me. Hey, what's up? Funny. Welcome to the group. It's nice <laughs> to have you here. <laughs> we got candy. We're going to have you play flanker. You guys know what the flanker is in football? I do not. It's a position that's like dead now because nobody plays it anymore. But um, Hmm. the flanker's whole job was just to run straight. They were a wide receiver that was as far to the sideline as they could be, and they just ran straight to take a defender off. Oh, that Mm. makes sense. Huh? You get the ball thrown to you like 10% of the time. Yeah. Just to have someone cover you, though. Yes. Huh, that's funny. Just to take away a defender, yeah. Because I remember, I remember listening to Joe Biden one time. He was talking about how football in high school. Uh, have you heard of Joe Biden? I don't know. I've never heard of him, this man. He's kind of an indie artist. Uh, just somebody that I've been picking up on. Uh, <laughs> uh, Biden. He's like, I, I play. I played football in high school. I played, I played <laughs> blanker. And I was like, Yeah, you are old, aren't you? <laughs> like, damn. Blanker. Damn. Yeah, Back in the weather Biden. helmet days. He is yeah, one of the much. oldest, isn't he? Excuse me. The oldest. The oldest? Okay. Next yeah. oldest <laughs> is Trump. Oh, yeah, Trump yeah that makes a lot of sense on where if we're Trump at. If Trump was reelected, he'd still be the oldest. Damn. Okay. Jesus. <clears throat> All right. So, what do we have today? Anybody want to discuss something? Oscar. Uh, cor- huh? I was going to say, Corn released an album Friday, which we had discussed on the previous oh, recording. Yes. Corn with their new album, Requiem. Yes, indeed. And listen to it. That's a planet in Halo. What are you talking about? It is. It wow. is a very good album. <laughs> yeah, one of their best in a while. I what thoroughly you enjoyed it. I I'm enjoying it up there with the original album and Follow the Leader. Okay, that's it's a bold claim. But <laughs> you you did grow up in the '90s to listen to Corn, correct? So yes, sir. If anybody's got an expert opinion on it, it's you. Those those cool. original albums were were deep, and this newest one is deep, and the musicality is there too. Yeah. Okay, I can believe that. I listened to the Nothing when it came out, and I thought that was pretty heavy and more of their style. But I think this album really takes it back to the '90s. It really does. <laughs> if that makes sense, because now you know you think about it, Corns in their fourth decade of making music, so you feel like they have to evolve Damn. as a band. But it's nice that they're sticking to what makes them good. Yep. Um, I, just know, I just know the one where they just yell at me for 30 seconds. <laughs> That's the Twist. one. <laughs> Twist. Uh, Twist. 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 Yeah, I don't know. So, like, they've done some weird stuff in the last, like, 10, 15 years. They had, well, me and Colt were just talking about it earlier. They had the dubstep album that they did yep. with Excision and uh, Skrillex. Like, huh. it had good singles, but the deep cuts on it are terrible. Like, it's just yep. terrible. Then they had the Paradigm Shift, where they finally went back to making normal music. I enjoyed it, but it was a lot softer than the music they normally made, and they were starting to stray away from making new metal. It was closer to alternative rock. Mm-hmm. And then they came back to form. They made the Serenity to Suffering, where they got a couple of guest spots on it. Uh, like, they had Corey Taylor on a track. Like, he's in the music video. It was like a claymation doll. Huh. And the album is heavy and it's hard, but it's still like they're trying to dabble into alternative metal a little bit. But you still have Jonathan David on the vocals. But these last two albums, the Nothing and Requiem, that it's new metal. 
hundred percent. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. If you're a fan of old school porn, you like the night their nineties work and maybe even early two thousands with what they were doing on the like Untouchables. Yeah, this is a great album. Yeah, Life is Peachy, Untouchables, it, it, this is right up there with those. <clears throat> yeah. It's it's kind of like a return to form, similar to what Slipknot did with We Are Not Your Kind, where yep. they were like, yeah, let's just go back to being heavy, because Grey Chapter? No. That's a good comparison. The Grey Chapter was when they were going, like, I wouldn't say softer, but they were starting to make easy, easier to digest music for everybody audience. else. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you listen to songs like Kill Pop, and you're like, oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Right. And then even the album before that was produced, um, I forget what it was called, uh, by Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin produced All Hope Is Gone. That was the name of the album. That was the one that had Psychosocial and Sulfur. Okay. And the Slow Ballad. I forget what that one's called. I'm not sure. If you love me, let me go. I'm really That's bad a... with song names. Yeah, good luck, man. I wish Brandon was here. Heck of disco. Off the top of his head. Yeah, right. it's called yeah, it's called Panic at the Disco. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. No, Panic at the Costco. Yeah, have you seen those long lines? <laughs> For Panic at the Costco. <laughs> Panic at the Costco. Jeez. Yeah, it's nothing to get into Costco, but if you want to buy anything, God forbid, you're gonna get out of there anytime soon. So that's the best shit on the planet. We we're having dairy shortages. I think we talked about that on a previous podcast. Mm-hmm. And, uh, dairy. Yeah, there was a dairy shortage because we couldn't get anything in over the mountain. So if there was anything being milked at a farm in California, they weren't sending it here. Those bastards. Those goddamn pasteurized bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, no. you'd go into Costco, and usually they'd sell the milk gallons and the two-packs and shit like that. There was no milk. You could not find milk. There's Ooh, probably milk at Sam's milk. Club, but you're not going to catch anybody at Sam's Club. Nobody goes to Sam's Club. Is yeah, Sam's I, Club just Walmart? Sam's Club is the Walmart Costco, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to find a bunch of great value items. <laughs> great. Hey, but you discounted items, though. <laughs> great value, yeah. <laughs> great value. The best value. Yeah, but uh, Costco started to bring back, uh, so you know, since the pandemic, their buffets where you can go around and just try out free samples all day. So at least there's novelty in going to Costco. I yeah. love free sample. Yeah. <laughs> As a it's kid, a- I would, I just, you just have to go and get a free sample. It's definitely a staple of Costco's. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm glad they brought it back. I didn't even know they took them away. Oh, yeah. In the first place. Because that's the only reason I went along with Grace, and they took him away. I'm like, what am I doing here? Yeah, why would you bring me? I'm just going to get tempted to buy something. What am I doing? I don't want to spend money and buy a five-pack of boat engines when I only need one, and I don't even need one. Oh, wait, there's a five-pack of boats. We're good. Honey, you don't know if we're going to need the oars or not. There's a five-pack of oars. Do you Um, have the craft? (laughs) No. The kids need a new playground. You keep clipping, Colton. Just well, a little bit. Son of a bitch. I know. Yeah. We're but... going to have to keep our energy levels down. Yeah, we need to be calm. Yeah. Don't pipe <laughs> in this. Calm Don't pipe out, please. Today's episode, corn. Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think the stupidest thing I ever walked out of Costco with was... Um, a 24 pack of contact lenses because they Damn. were half off if you bought a pack of 20 a 24 pack of contact lenses so i walked away with 48 pairs of contact lenses damn which is like a year's worth if you know how to spread it yeah mm-hmm. some good shit right there <laughs> i like i like their vision center um the tire center is nice because they give you the price up front of everything and what it's going to cost fair let me know if my heater starts coming through because I completely disabled the active noise cancellation. Alright, you sound fine. Bye-bye. My heater's oh, not on right now. Okay. Mm. okay. So, I talked last week about NFTs, correct? Yes. yes. I was very passionate in how much I dislike NFTs. Yeah. Uh, I discussed how Ubisoft starting to get into the market and even act, like uh, Eminem started to purchase NFTs of his own. Yeah. And Troy Baker was on Twitter announcing his NFTs. Oh, for fuck's sake. about Troy Baker. Um, <clears throat> we did our Worms Let's Play last week. And, like, 
two days later, they announced on Twitter, they said, hey, we're going to create NFTs centralized around Worms WMD. Oh, for, for fuck's sake. They're just doing <laughs> anything like, at this point. I, I had a visceral reaction because I could not believe Worms was doing something so stupid. <laughs> but it was Team 17. It's the company that, you know, made Worms and or published it. And they were like, we're going to create something called Meta Worms. Right? They even chose an <laughs> equally stupid name to go along with their equally stupid project. And they were going to create and sell computer-generated artwork using the power of the blockchain. That's how they described it. Huh. And they had some of their smaller studios that helped make games with them, such as AgroCrab, who's known for going under, Ghost Town, who makes Overcooked, another series that we make videos in, and Platonic, who are the minds behind Ukulele. They all mm. came out into Twitter and said, we do not support Team 17 whatsoever with their initiative to put NFTs in worms at Jesus. all. They all Agro came Crab. out? Yeah, AgroCrab even, it was a very ex expletive-laden post where they basically said, we're not working with Team 17 anymore. Fuck that. This is stupid. You guys suck. That's kind of what they Props to the devs. Said. Yeah, they said yeah, this big is time. stupid. Um, Team 17 wheeled back less than 24 hours later. They said, we're not doing it. They said, oh, it turns out people don't want this. It's like, yeah, no shit. You didn't see what Ubisoft just did? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, to end my NFT rant, uh, even Stalker 2, which comes out later this year, I think it comes out in the spring, they were going to put NFTs into the game, and they also wheeled back. Yeah. Troy Baker, who we mentioned last week, and I just brought up, he's wheeled back. So it feels like they're trying to announce these things to see if they can get away with them, and they're just <laughs> wheeling back, and they're telling themselves, oh, I guess that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, because no one wants them. It's not a good them. idea. They're I lame. Think all They're these, stupid. I think all these big like gaming YouTubers ought to start investing in these dev companies <laughs> and actually publishing games or helping them get them published so devs can start self-publishing titles and get rid of publishers. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't make do any you, sense. Okay, but do you, do you really want a game that was made by Ninja, though? Do you want no, that? No, how about no, just no, test I'm not it saying by he it. makes it. I'm saying yeah. he's just funding it. Funding it's a game he wants to play. And yeah. furthermore, so why not fund it? And furthermore, he should. They should have like testing too done by gamers that fund or pay gamers. You know, part time. It, I don't know. It. Mm -hmm. I think a service can be even made out of it. You know, to like test games, give gamer, well, I mean, gamers gamers in an initiative to test uh, betas or alphas and maybe that can help with early feedback issues too. These streamers and stuff are already getting keys for free from the developers yeah. to play their games and they're like getting money for sponsorships from games like Raid. Yeah, yeah of course. So why not you know, they they just spend their money like Mr. Beast kind of just spends his money on whatever. He could be investing in something like a gaming company and turn around and make more money doing that. Use them as a sponsor in his own videos. Like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty smart. I remember when um, Vanoss and his crew they were labeled as executive producers in a video game. I don't remember what it was, but it was that weird hide and seek game. If you guys ever saw footage of that from like seven, yeah, years ago. I remember it was that. a completely unforgettable game that I don't remember. Dead Realm. It was called Dead Realm. St dumb game. I think the problem with it was that it, it felt like it was very thrown together, and then they were labeled as executive producers because all they did was pitch a couple of ideas to the dev team of what they wanted in the game, and then they heavily promoted it when it came out. Like the, all they did was yeah. let's plays on it for like almost a month straight. Like, and maybe that's why none of them do it because they just don't want to sour their name with garbage. Yeah, I mean, like, well, it's not inherently terrible, but when you compared what was on the market at the time, especially with Dead by Daylight coming out, I think maybe a year later, it's basically a Dead by Daylight game, except Daylight, Dead by Daylight has many more mechanics that you can strew across the game to make it replayable and more fun. Hmm. It, it just seemed like they were selling the idea of, look, the YouTubers are having fun playing it more than it was, hey, this is a fun game. Right. Well, I uh, think people see through that now, too. It was yeah. like when T. Martin got caught in the CSGO scam. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what it was. It was like a skin site. And yeah. they were playing it off as like, a, oh, yeah, we um, 
we found this really awesome site and you can go buy these things. Even I worked with the, you know, they want to give me a couple And they were to give behind away. it. They owned it. They started yeah. the company. They, they owned the website. And that's why it was such a big deal was because they were selling and marketing it to kids going, hey, look at this weird thing I found when it's like, <laughs> And that's why I you can it. no longer sell items outside of CSGO. It's like getting viral for finding a gigantic shit in the woods and going, guys, whoa, look at this gigantic shit in the woods. I found And when five <laughs> minutes before, the dude that's taking the video took the shit. Yep. <laughs> he took a shit? In he the took video? a shit on the video. Disgusting. Disgusting. It's fucking one of us. Well, let's flush the toilet. It's disgusting, isn't it? Oh, man. <laughs> that Even is interesting, th though. I'm glad we, uh, we're able to record the podcast a couple days later because uh, Dying Light 2 reviews are starting to come in and more people are talking about it. It is I so good. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys li uh, like, I think Colton's the only one here that's played it. What do you think of that? David has too. David has played it. What do you guys think of the game? I love it. <laughs> so Amazing. Far. What is different in this one than they changed a lot more in the first one? The first one? More. It doesn't feel that drastically different. It just feels more advanced and polished. To mm, me. Just, there's like more quality of life updates to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the complaints is uh, one of the complaints I can remember at least is uh, oversaturation of uh, story. So you'll hear like th maybe the storyline isn't as um, uh, just uh, congruent. Yeah, and not it doesn't grab you as much as maybe the last one even did. Because there's just, they tried to do a lot, and maybe they forgot a couple of, like, uh, special aspects of, you know, just storytelling. But I still like the gameplay, because there's no I'm, bugs. I'm drawn into the story pretty well. I mean, it's good, but you can tell, like, just some, maybe more side quests, because I've done a lot more side quests than story quests. But, uh, they're, uh, they're they're just kind of thrown out there, you know? It's very nice like and just kind of... They feel like simple. Assassin's Creed side quests. Yeah, okay. yeah. But, That's but that is it. one thing about the game, is it feels very Assassin's Creed-like. Like, if you look at the <laughs> overlay yeah. map, it feels very much like uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. A lot of the loot places feel the same, too. But other than yeah. that, the game is... Uh, it's pretty stellar, actually. It runs I get really it. good too. I mean, it runs yeah. Good. Well, it's a it's a struggle to run it. Like on a twenty eighty Ti with a fifty ninety X, I'm yeah. or a fifty eight hundred X. I'm getting maybe sixty FPS on shadows ray traced, and that's it. Okay, but still, I mean, ray tracing. Yeah, I'm I'm ray tracing shadows on the first generation rtx cards yeah yeah for that it's pretty good but it's it's uh, very playable there's a lot of criticism on consoles right now uh especially the new gen hardware including the ps5 and series x because the game only uh -huh. runs at 1080p it does not run at 4k on the new consoles and Yikes. people are kind of irritated that the game isn't optimized well for consoles the dev team right now is trying to push not push a narrative but they are claiming that they are being held back by um, the hardware. They're saying that on the Series S, the game cannot achieve 60 frames because of its GPU. And they're now being criticized for saying that because if the game's running at 1080p on a PS5 Series X, that means they're not optimizing that hardware as well because it's capable of 4K. And so, they are putting out updates that are making the game more stable and running better. But people are now pointing to the fact that other AAA titles on the Series S run at a, you know, a reasonable 60 frames at 1080p. Even the, though the console can play 2K games. The the ray tracing cores on the <clears throat> Series X I know should definitely be able to more than handle this game at at mm -hmm. least 1440p Sorry. minimum. 60 FPS. But if it's not optimized well, that would make sense for that, and that would also make sense as to why I I actually struggle to keep it at sixty at fourteen forty p. Well, I'm reading stories where people are running it on ten fifties, 
and they're still pushing, say, 45 frames at 10. Yeah. Yeah. And well, the yeah. Fact, and that... The fact that it's not running on a PS5 at at least 2K. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> so hmm. it begs the question, and they're actually getting review bombed. I, I watched it in a video yesterday. I forget who put it up. They're getting review bombed because Damn. of localization, because the game isn't um, in Italian. Uh, so you have a bunch of Italian gamers that are pissed. <laughs> oh, and I was shoot. reading through comments on the videos, and the one that stuck out to me is this guy. He claims he's from Brazil, and he's calling them uh, the Italians crybabies because he's like, oh, well, we kind of – he's like, down here in Brazil, you know, we all speak Portuguese, but some of us learn to speak English because there's not games that are available in our, our region. Mm -hmm. And they're like, we just learned to adapt, and the Italians are giving zeros on Metacritic. And I was like, that's – now the Brazilians and Italians are fighting. <laughs> on the Jesus! Oh, oh go Brazil! Yeah, Start video games. Fight. Video oh, games man. always bringing us together. Yeah, man. Yeah, they are. It, well, it video game Brazil community is just toxic. Oh yeah. It. Well, so most games, most popular games are region locked, really, and it sucks because you just you can't do, find people sometimes. Like yeah, I know region in region locking uh, hasn't really been a thing in the last couple of generations of systems. <clears throat> it's definitely started phasing out. That's good, because that was bullshit, you know? Stupid. They, yeah. they did add DRM to Dying Light 2 three days before launch. They added Denuvo three days before launch. Mm. What is mm. Denuvo? What's, Denuvo what's all that is, is the DRM software that they use for anti-piracy, and nine times out of ten, the Denuvo like, anti-piracy stuff gets cracked before the game even gets launched. Oh, Damn. oh my gosh. Fun. So I could have got it for free? You wouldn't be able to play it online. Oh, never mind. What's the downside? Can't can't co-op with my friend. Yeah, yeah and <laughs> and you can go to jail. Well, no, I can't. Ah, I'll go to jail. Whatever. It's no big deal. At least get play my games. The love of the video game. That's Come why on. we don't do it. Right. Yep. That's why. That's why we don't condone piracy in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. You wouldn't download a car, would you? Yeah. If I would could, you? I. You wouldn't download a pizza, would you? <laughs> I might. I goddamn well would if I had a 3D printer that was capable of printing a pizza. I would damn well order that fucking pizza. Yeah. That's pretty much what those Japanese vending machines do that, you know, make the pizza in front of you. It's just, <laughs> it's just 3D, pre 3D printing your pizza. Inside well, they the actually machine. have 3D printers that are capable of printing 3D, like, food now. I believe it's that. typically chocolate, but they can actually do other things. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I believe that. I really do. I don't. Sounds nice. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, sorry. Oscar. <laughs> sorry That's Oscar. fine. I'll just suffer. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, whatever. <laughs> um, no pizza sounds good. I have what? leftover pizza for dinner. Papa right. Murphy's. What's the shittiest chain fast food pizza on the planet? I hope we're all in the same boat. Oh, let me. What's the oh, what? Damn. What's the shittiest fast food pizza? If you had pizza to go Hut. get pizza. Thank you. Really? There's no other correct answer. Pizza Hut is gross. I've I've always I've, put Papa John's below Pizza Hut. See, and I like really? Papa John's over Pizza think, Hut. I'll, like quite a large margin. I like Papa John's over Domino's. Okay. I there's a rumor the Round Table, Pizza <laughs> Hut, not Pizza Hut. The Round Table by Reed High School. Um. It's it closed down. It's gone. They are 100 percent gone. And there's a rumor that they're gonna put a Pizza Hut there. And I was like, fucking why? 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 They had a dining room. It was awesome. It was awesome. They had a buffet, a lunch buffet. Yeah, the buffet. To if you wanted to yeah. walk across the street. And yeah, that Whoa. was my go-to round table. But buffets kind of died with, um, you know, 2019. Yeah. Uh, man. The problem... Wait, Rona? Fuck it. Fuck it. Go to King Buffet. You're going to catch something worse than Rona there. Yeah, that's for damn sure. <laughs> wow, damn, at a buffet any time in the last 15 ah, years, yeah. you are immune to Corona. Man, people that lived in, or live in Reno currently, or have lived in Reno, listen to this podcast, do not go to King Buffet. You will, I mean, if you want to you strengthen your immune system, go there once a week for mm -hmm. 10 years. So, yeah. Go to King you, Buffet right now. You will, cancer will not clean your colon out like King Buffet will. <laughs> Jesus Christ. King Buffet is nasty. And they put it on the spines of all the phone books so that you were forced to look at the advertisement. Do you remember that for years? Just yeah. you get a yellow pages on your doorstep and there's a everywhere. fucking King Buffet at. I still uh, haven't figured out why they still deliver phone books to people. It's like 
we have the internet now. Yeah, we don't need a phone book. It's a dying art. Yeah. I think they've actually stopped delivering them in some locations. I don't think I've gotten one. They don't one. deliver them here. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a lot of paper. Even though it's super thin, that is a shitload of paper. Well, it's also it the is. same picture... Excuse me. The same type of paper they make money with, I think. Or they, at least they used to. I, I have experience. My dad picked up a side job where he decided he was going to go deliver yellow pages. And I remember he filled up the expedition with bags and phone books. And I remember he laid it all out. And he was like, can I get some help? Because I was sleeping. And I was like, okay. And me and my brothers, we woke up to go see what was going on. He needed one phone book, one phone book per bag. Yep. They just gave him the bags and the phone books. He had to put it all together and go deliver them all. Damn. There is an extreme amount of phone books that are out in the world after looking at that. Because he only had to do like a small neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And we had it sprawled across the living room, and we had twenty like stacks of twenty uh, fucking phone books on top of each other, and there were maybe like a hundred towers in our living room. Imagine yep. cities like New York. Yeah, it, it, it ridiculous. I, I I can't believe they did that every year. I'm like, this is an insane amount of paper waste. You Just to sit to... in a factory and fucking pulp it all together, and then print phone numbers that nobody's ever gonna look at on it. Yeah, and like you'd have to have Once one year. person deliver like a skyscraper. <laughs> Yeah, because that's 500, 600, 1,000 apartments. Mm -hmm. Just to deliver all these phone books to. And that's just one city block. I mean, that's just one building. City. Yeah, one building. I Sorry, not even city block. But you look at how many people are in New York City. Can you imagine getting one phone book to every person? I mean, it's usually per household, so it Ugh. probably reduces that number. But it's still a ridiculous number. That's, that's still huge. Yeah, because they also well, like to deliver them to businesses so that the businesses have a phone book in the back. Yeah, I always see a and stack by my mailboxes. Updated yearly. Number that of was the households crazy. in New York, 3.2 million. <clears throat> yeah. That's Jesus. Just a that's households. What the fuck? Yeah. There's more people than there are houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so imagine that. <laughs> it's a lot of trees, dude. And we're wondering dude, why we don't have oxygen. Tree, what is it sure? all on our phone books, bro. We got to make sure we can call the local Pizza Hut and get our cardboard for the day, duh. Yeah. What, you mean like the box? No, the crust. Exactly. Fucking cut. Dude, you want to you wanna sit here and eat some Pizza Hut, bro? They got the only Street. good Pizza Hut was their stuffed crust, and uh, even that was debatable. I love stuffed crust pizza. DiGiorno has it's, the best stuffed crust. DiGiorno does bought. have pretty good stuffed crust. DiGiorno, yeah. is that delivery? It's DiGiorno! I went to... The convenience store the other day and they had party pizzas in the freezer section and i was like yeah yeah <laughs> i gotta get some party pizzas don't i so bought those at a bag of chocolate covered cinnamon gummy bears oh yeah my gummy just... bear oh yeah that's it's called a night in that's what that is what? night in the toilet no, Totino's party pizzas hit so different. Like, if there was a pizza tier list, DiGiorno and Totino's party pizzas are fighting for the top spot. Yep. I love I'm, DiGiorno. I'm or irritated Totino's. that party pizzas aren't circular anymore, though. They're, they just come in They're rectangles. rectangles. Yeah. They stopped making them circle, because I guess you can now fit two, you can fit two on, like, a cookie tray instead of one. Yeah. Because it's circular. It's also easier to cut a square, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Most people know what a square looks like. What is a square? Yeah. It is a something square. with four corners. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, 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 like no need name talking. Hey. That's the reason I wasn't popular. <laughs> wow. Oh, sorry, I'm you itchy. You know how it goes. Sun makes me itchy. But it's nighttime. It's okay. dry skin. Don't ruin the illusion. <laughs> need to lotion. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Thank you, Papa. Eerie. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, fun stuff. So, Super Bowl is this Sunday. We have a matchup set, and who's going to party? Oh, uh, absolutely nobody. <laughs> uh, there is a report that there are going to be a record amount of chicken wings consumed this year. You guys want to guess how many chicken wings are Isn't there a wing shortage already? There's a wing, yeah, there's, there's a wing shortage, and there is already a projected number of how many wings will be eaten alone on Sunday. I say 10 yes. million. 10 million from Colton. Uh, I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go. Shit. Let's go 2 million. 
Two million. Oscar, what do you think? Five million. I have faith in America. You have faith in America, and you did five million. Yeah. You picked a lower number than I did. Okay. All right, what'd you pick? I picked ten. Ten million wings? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What if I told you that you guys weren't even fucking close? Shut what? The fuck I, was gonna, I was gonna say that's low. Ready? Ready? How low do you think you guys are, though? <laughs> okay, I'm go. Hold on. Can raise we, your numbers. Is it over Can we or raise our numbers? Million? It is over a hundred million. Okay. Are you shitting me? Oh. Yeah, it is. I was Just gonna guess eighty. Just drop the number. Yeah. Right. Ready? That's close. insane. <laughs> 1.4 billion wings. Shut what? the fuck up. Wow. Billion? Y'all want to get wings? some wings, dog? Hey, Dude. yeah. So there's this article, and it says Super Bowl Sunday is less than two weeks away, and while folks watch the Cincinnati Bengals and the L.A. Rams battle it out for the trophy, many of them will be chewing down on chicken wings. And according to a report, Americans will be eating a heck ton of them. It says the National Chicken Council estimates that a whopping 1.42 billion chicken wings will be consumed Super Bowl weekend. Which is about the same as last year. About the same that's, as last year. I didn't even know yeah, that. That's, that's that's in a insane. weekend. What the that fuck? That means take two weekends and two consecutive years and tell me that the almost three billion chicken wings are going to be eaten. All right, Bro. that's seven hundred million chickens. That is seven hundred. Yeah, I, was, I just looked at that that number as well. I was like, oh, <laughs> I just want to see how many chickens God. that is. So, just how many wings is that? There's a couple fun facts. 1.42 billion is more than enough to easily circle this, uh, the circumference of the Earth three times. Oh, my God. As dude. of this past weekend, it would take 17,108 Bitcoin to purchase 1.42 billion wings. That's a very 2022 thing. Where that we're is such we're like, a fucking It's a unit of measurement. Thing. We're getting units God. of measurement in Bitcoins for how expensive shit is. That's wild. Um, at world record holder Molly Schuyler's pace of 501 wings in 30 minutes, it would take her 162 years to eat 1.42 billion wings. <laughs> or it says million, but I think it's billion. And it says if 1.42 billion wings were split, <laughs> this, okay, you remember how I just said that was a very 2022 metric? Yeah. Give me another one. I'm, I'm reading ahead. <laughs> it says if 1.42 billion wings were split between all the TikTok, Instagram, and Spotify downloads in 2021, each individual could get one wing per download. So would, would you download a chicken hey, wing? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Would you download a chicken wing? <laughs> that download the fuck out of that chicken, chicken wing. wing piracy, sir? I did, I did math a little bit further. That is... <laughs> An average of 4.3 wings per every citizen in the United States as of 2020 census of 329.5 million people in the U.S. So everyone gets a few wings. Everybody that, gets four wings. <laughs> Some I'll people aren't eating wings. Who is eating like 30 <laughs> wings to raise the average? Everyone watching the Super Bowl. I was like, God, I, I go to Wingstop and get a American six. American average <laughs> is farly obese. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I was gonna say I, I every time I go to Wingstop and get a combo, I gotta get a six piece because I, I just can't eat more than six with the tub of fries that they give you. There are numerous people that eat twenty to thirty in a single sitting. That's me. Oh man. That's me. Hey, what's up? Dude. I fucking love wings. <laughs> wings I mean, are good. Chicken wings, yeah. Yeah, they're, okay. It's called aspartame and it's addicting as fuck. So you <laughs> guys know I don't smoke weed, right? Yeah. But if correct. my mom offers Wait, you don't? Me an edible Yeah, I don't. But if, like, my mom walks by my room and she's like, do you want an edible? I'll go, sure, I'll take one from her. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't do it a lot, so it fucks me up when I do it. I straight up <laughs> ordered 40 wings at, like, 10 o'clock <laughs> at night. <laughs> and I ate, like, 25 of them. Because <laughs> I remember like, sitting in my room and I was like, damn, I, just, uh, I, I remember hungry. ordering them. And I'm doing, I'm pacing around my room, and I'm like, God, did I really just order for? I gotta go pick up the wing. And I went and picked up the wings, and I sat down. And I was like, Ah, oh, yeah. And I got like three tubs of Blue Ranch, and I dunked them. Jesus. And I was just sitting there fucking murdering my wings <laughs> in the ranch, and I was eating. And I was like, Yeah. God. Damn. I woke up the next morning, lethargic as fuck. Had to go to work. <laughs> but it was so fucking delicious. <laughs> yeah. So. Those were the best it. wings of your I, entire life, though. <laughs> yeah, but it was like. Have you been to Wingstop? Have you seen their prices? It was like 50 yeah. bucks. It's right. 2022. What flavor? Yeah, but I spent 50 bucks to at 10 o'clock at night because I took an edible an hour before. Yeah, what what, what David said, what flavor are wings? Uh, I got like barbecue and then huh. I got some <laughs> lemon pepper and that Cajun rub. 
Yeah. Cajun rub. Yeah. 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 That Cajun rub is fucking delicious. Yeah, I can eat like 1.4 billion of that Cajun rub. That Louis, uh, is it the Louis Louisiana rub? Yeah, there's a the dry rub. The lemon pepper. Those ones are amazing. I love barbecue. Yeah. Where else do you go? Is there another place that you prefer to go get wings if like Wingstop isn't available? We Wing ought to check oh, out Wing the hut. Wing Street. <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, I dog on their pizza, but they got good wings. Okay. Dude, like that garlic, that spicy garlic, that, yeah, like, and they put garlic it, one. They put it in that big black tub too, mm, so yeah. you just pop the lid open, and it's just sitting there, sitting in all the sauce, licking it. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> They've got good wings. They just have terrible pizza. We gotta try uh, just wings. It's a new one it's in town. Wings. It's just I wings. I love that place as well. Really? We, we I haven't have tried it yet. Wing um, it's you actually a. We'll it's a chicken wing. There you go. So get this. It's actually a Chili's side hustle. It's their DoorDash oh, right. exclusive. Okay. You have to order it through DoorDash, and it comes from a Chili's restaurant. Its appeal is, is you can get like 20 wings for like 13 bucks. It's cheap. It's insanely cheap. But they're only they boneless, you, aren't they? Yeah. They only sell boneless wings, which is uh, the caveat, but they give you a shitload of curly fries. What's wrong okay. with boneless wings? There's no right. I, just pre- I like I curly like, fries. I like bone in. I, I love boneless wings. I like they, you don't have to too. worry about the bones and you get all meat. Absolutely. The breading, uh, I guess, is the turn down mm. of boneless, but boneless yeah, is good nice too. And cheap. It is. I like gripping my wing with all my fucking might. Grip my wing. <laughs> I grip my wing. I grip my wing. Get, I grip my wing. My I downloaded wings, Legal A. I'm always worried about like eating the bone too. Yeah, I've had oh, a bad experience childhood. One of the, like, at the very end, just a smidgen of the bone shattered at the end there, and I bit down on it, cut my, Oof. like, inside by my tongue on the bottom, and that was terrible. I, I tripped a tooth on a fork. <clears throat> Oof. Turned sideways Oof. when I bit down. On a down. fork? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I went, oh, I went to God. bite down on, like, mashed potatoes or something, and Thank somehow oh. it was when I was a kid. It twisted. So you were expecting something tooth. soft. Yep. <laughs> it down hard and it. Ding. Yeah, I think so, it's. I'm sorry. I, I didn't expo- yeah, You could see the nerve sticking out of the tooth Ooh, too. Now, like I could That's sit there and it, <laughs> and it would just send bullets down for the longest time until the nerve finally fucking died. Oh, that's fucked up. I hate that. That kind of pain. There's nothing like that. Nope. Dental pain, ear pain, and headaches. Well, nerves. Are the three worst. Mm-hmm. Nerves are fucking bad. I had a shot that... under my toenail once, and they had a nerve, and it was the Ooh. worst pain in my fucking life. Dude, yeah. I had a, I did a surgery for Gross. an ingrown toenail, and they had to like mm-hmm. separate the bone in my toe in order to numb it, oh. and it was the most excruciating fucking thing ever. Oh, they didn't do it that way for me. Jesus yeah. Christ. For yes. Mine, they just basically gave me enough lidocaine that it swole my toe up to the size of a half dollar. Fuck. You know, and then what? Did the surgery on the toenail and it was fine. Yeah, they they just pumped that shit full of lidocaine. Bro, for me, they gave me a shot. They gave me three shots around my toe, one under the toenail, and then they just killed the nerve on each side of my big toenail, Ugh. and they then removed the that part of the toenail but yeah they just stopped the toenail from growing in certain spots they they put a chemical on yeah. the nail bed that kills it from growing back not fun stuff the, the right fun. the right side like where i had mine done is still perfectly straight flat the way uh, they cut it off like that uh, nail does not grow that direction at all anymore I'll yeah do a dog it is yeah. laser flat. Like it is crazy. Yeah, make sure to cut your na- your nails right, guys. If people yeah. listening, oh, don't, I stubbed, don't go through this. I stubbed my Dude, toe on a piece of concrete. Do not dig an embedded toenail out either. Yeah. Go to a doctor. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Kids are dumb. Oh, it's fun. You just just pull, pull it out. Pop. It's easy. Pop. <laughs> Tap. Because once you get the pocket, it does like you can't seal it easily. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, I nightmares. actually have a bad story. <laughs> um, I had a root canal done. Yeah. At the end of 2014, it was sophomore year of high school, and oh. uh, it's this tooth right here. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't quite look like a canine, and it looks gray at the top uh-huh. compared to my other one. 
I had a root canal done on it because it was starting to break in the middle. Oh. I could actually take my finger and I could hook it into my canine and I could pull my head down because I could, you know, I could tug at my tooth. And if mm-hmm. I touch it a certain way, you could touch the root. And it was yep. one of those like pains where you do that, where you oh. jolt real quick. So they were like, oh, we'll do a root canal. We'll get it shaved over. We'll put something Sorry. over it. It'll be fine. I was like, cool. I get in the dentist chair and they shot me up with the numbing shit. Nobody Have you ever had work done on your teeth, like in the back where your molars are? Nope. They hit with that numbing shit, and it hurts at first because they're just sticking a needle in your gums. But then it's all good because you're all numbed up and shit like that. What they don't tell you is when it gets towards the front of your mouth, it's harder to numb it. Mm-hmm. So they have to hit you with more shots, and you're going to be more fucked up, and you, you'll stop feeling your nose. <laughs> they hit me with like five shots, and they went, <laughs> okay, here we go. And they sawed the tooth in half, just oh. straight up cut it in half. And I went, oh, I didn't feel that. That wasn't bad. And they're like, okay, well, now we need to put more numbing shit in it. And I was like, no big deal, right? They took the needle, and they shoved it into the tooth, and they stuck it in the nerve so that they could hit it with the num num sauce. <laughs> Some of the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. Mm. It was not good. It was not pleasant. And then they pulled out the nerve, and good thing I didn't feel that because they they had me all numbed up at that point. And he showed it to me, and he's like, this is the most perfect nerve I've ever seen. And he was going around showing it to everybody in the dental office and goes, look, I pulled it out in one piece. And he it was like a marvel. He was like, oh. And he's like, can I take a picture of this? And my mom's like, I don't care. It's like you already <laughs> showed it to everybody. And yeah, I was I like, guess. well, he wanted picture proof that it existed. And like my mom's like, I don't care. I wish I had the photo because it was actually cool. It came out in one little piece. That and then they cool. put the fake nerve in it and they reconstructed my tooth and I'm still fine years later. But it was so bad that like if I had to take a bite out of an apple, I had to use the other side of my mouth. Uh. Yeah. That's how bad that tooth was. So now that it's all fixed, it looks kind of gross. Like I said, it looks kind of gray at the top, but I mean, it's better than like not being able to eat. Yeah. I got my teeth clean and they didn't do a bleach treatment on it. And so like I build plaque up on my teeth, but I've never really had a cavity issue. Like, mm-hmm. I've had two cavities filled in my entire life, and they were super tiny. Yeah. Um. But my teeth look horrible now. Like, they are super brown stained, and it looks like I have cavities, like, in between here and, like, down in the cracks and stuff where the plaque is. And I use a whitening toothpaste, but the way they didn't bleach treat them this time, they yeah. stained up super bad from, like, tea and soda. Okay. That's what ah, I get from man. the weed smoke. I have super thick enamel on my teeth, though. Like, I did, I had way too much fluoride as a kid. So, like, I have the white stains in my teeth, but then my teeth are also simultaneously super hard and well protected. It's, I'll, I'll buy you, like, one of those little handheld buffer things. It'll help you clean your teeth right there. I actually have <laughs> a Sonicare. I, I think I need to go back to using a regular, like, bristled toothbrush versus a Sonicare to actually get my teeth clean the way I want to. Pro tip, throw away your dental floss and get a water pick. Yep, the we have pick one. A water beautiful. pick? A water pick is beautiful. It's just a device that streamlines water at high pressure, and you can clean in between your teeth with it. It's a Does it do enough for pressure? Teeth. Yes. Does it do enough yeah. pressure? To oh, improve? absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it is a very good. high pressure pump. Yeah, huh. I actually have a tooth that I cannot get floss into, and using that fucking uh, water pick is just heaven sent. Just yeah, having I'd it. I recommend it's... a water pick. Wonderful. Mm. Hey, is David's you, you camera freaking us. out for you too? Yeah, Always. it keeps going in and out of focus. Oh, well. It's yeah, right there no, in the it's back. Like the Mar- <laughs> it's like the Mario meme. <laughs> Dude, speaking of Mario, I want to play 64 on the Switch. Okay. The yeah. Switch? Run on actual N64. Because I still don't have it. Well, I need the well, power cord. I will bring my N64 down when we come down to visit. Thank you. Do you have Mario Party 2? I have... I might... I don't know if I have Mario Party or not. I know I have Smash right. and I have Mario 64. And I have, You're going to drug Mario Party I'll game find my now. games. I'll get my games out. <laughs> I'll see what I have. I'll send you boys a picture. Okay. When Colton comes into town, we're going to do a big Mario Party Let's Play. Yep. Dude, I wonder Every if we, we can... I, can we record that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How? Oh, yeah. I don't know how it would work if we do like an actual N64, but we I did it on the an, Switch. I have an AB an AV converter. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking of course he does, buddy. <laughs> Dude, he's already ready with it already. He hits you with the buddy. 
Get wrecked. Buddy. Buddy Schmuddy. I, I also have the, the pound uh, HDMI free... cable for the original Xbox. Nice. The, nice. Wait, it weighed a pound? No. Oh. It's made by a company <laughs> called Pound. Oh, called Pound. Uh, I thought it weighed a pound. No, from how like fucking gigantic that box was. <laughs> no. Hmm. Interesting stuff. I like it. Just Omega Beagle. That's why it's important for followers like you to support our podcast. Give me your money. Yeah. Empty your mom's bank account and sub dump it. No. In no, 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 no. No, don't, don't take your mom's money. website that we just found. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah we're we're doing it. NFTs. Yeah, dump you all of your money NFTs. into Cobb Bros NFTs. Mm -hmm. It's Jesus. legit, we promise. Also, we promise. also, please dump all of your money into Cobb Coin. Cobb Coin. Cobb Coin? Cobb coin? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. I kind of want to do a Cobb Coin now. Yeah, okay, let's get it started. It's 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 easy as scamming people out of shit. Like, what, did, you see Gunna good game? Watching? did you see Gunna scamming his own fans? Yeah, with no. his uh, push and pee coin. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake! So, in the midst of the meme push and pee, which is uh, a song off of his new album Drip Season Four, oh, he no. uh, he decided to tweet out and tell his fans, "Hey, go buy my new cryptocurrency push and pee coin." And he did. Stupid. People went out and bought a bunch of the coins, and a day later, the or a couple days later, the uh, the value tanked ninety percent, and his tweet was gone. Oh like my so, god! That's just so, like Soldier Boy selling that scam console. Yep, scam a boy. Yeah, scam a boy. <laughs> nice. I don't know. Are they ever get their money back if the, no. those coins? No, no. Yeah. Is no. it illegal just to take the money like that? It, no, there's no written word on it. You know what I mean? Well, the like, problem is, is they have to prove that he intentionally did it to scam people. But if he keeps the coin up and like just projects it as a real thing, I don't see why. You, you couldn't really prove that it's illegal if he's like, you know, if all the documents yeah. say this is serious, this is a yeah. serious coin. Go God. buy my serious coin. That's so all it, it takes. Works. It works, yeah, and that's Jeez, see, that's the thing that assholes. nobody realizes with Bitcoin and all of these other cryptocurrencies is that the person that created that blockchain and started selling it can say, okay, I'm taking all of the money out of this. It's yeah. mine now. It's that easy. Jesus Christ. Because they still have the back end to the start of that blockchain, which means they can track every single transaction down using computers they could track every single transaction and take all of that money yeah that easy. and guess what china is the com country that owns bitcoin yeah. would you look at that and china is now the richest country on the planet and nobody realizes it Let's give it up for china uh, no okay. bro they've already got it in the bag there's yeah it's, it's... The, the game's over <laughs> And Russia is in a very close second place. Bro, have you, you seen know, the Olympic other... coverage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. It's awful. I feel so bad for these athletes that want to go and perform at a prof you know, at a professional, amateurish level for the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's weird. Are those protests still going on in Beijing? Uh, I'm not sure. I think that would be something interesting to look up. But no, the conditions of the games are terrible, and like if you're put in a COVID protocol, they're treating you like animals, where they're just like, oh well, here's here's food. It's a detention camp. It's, it's, it's basically essentially a detention camp. It's like the lowest thing that they can classify as food for people. It's Auschwitz. Yeah, it's just it's terrible. I mean, yeah, we've already seen really what they're weird. doing to Uyghur people. Have you guys? You guys have been following that, right? No. That was a big topic of debate in my business classes because people were always talking about current events and everybody's bringing up the story of the Uyghurs. Well, basically, they're taking all of these uh, the Uyghurs and they're putting them in literal concentration camps and they're trying to shape the way that they think and telling them uh, that being Muslim is bad. It's, I don't it's know our new age. Uyghurs. Uyghurs. Um, if you look it up here, I'll send the... the uh, it's a weird... The, um, weird word. Weird. Yeah. But For basically, sure. it's... These Muslims in China that are being forced out of their religion because China wants you know people to think what they do. Right. I'll drop the Wikipedia Chinese article. way or no way. Yeah, it's God. an interesting read, and you should look up into it of people that have been in and out of these camps, and they're like, it's horrible. They're like, you don't know if you're ever going to make it out of there because it's 
it's a system where they're trying to just erase everything that you've ever known wow. and instill a common identity into these people. Social media is doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so it's spelled U Y G H U R S. I would have never guessed mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Well, I looked up. See, they're still protesting. Uh, well, there was a, a human rights activist uh, crashed the lighting uh, of the torch ceremony. So, and they hold up banners saying "No genocides" or and like holding up the flags of the countries. Okay. So there still is some like a lot of political heat going down over there. Yeah, that's that's sad. Well, and isn't Russia getting ready to invade Jesus. the Ukraine? Yeah, they're consistently pushing the border like at night. And they have yeah. uh, uh, policemen standing guard on the border to make sure that no Russians come and keep moving the border. Wow. Right now, if you go there, the uh, if you like, you pull up your map and you're next to the border and over there, uh, the the border reads twenty miles, like or like a mile away from where you actually are, and the fence is like a mile, like all, all the way over to you. Mm -hmm. There will be some people that will be living in Ukraine, and then the next morning they'll be in Ru living in Russia. Yep. Yep. It happens. It's fucking wow. insane. I don't know. Some people yeah. say it's like, oh, we're in the common age, but it's like you realize World War Two was less than a hundred years ago. Yep. Well, shit doesn't change that often. And which it's, is, I'm it's sorry, a way of repeating itself. Yeah. We're on our hundred year cycle. We're fine. <laughs> it's weird like, though. We're just in such turmoil all the constantly. time. Yeah, yeah, why can't we just learn to like love people? Everyone love. just needs to take a hit of my blonde. Y'all need to get some split. Y'all need to chill out. Talk <laughs> take about a mushroom. Sober, frosty. It's you human did. nature to kill one another. <laughs> yeah, it's that predatory well, instinct. It goes back to human nature, but it's just uh, it's crazy it, that it's one thing after the other. You know, it's. COVID I mean, we need to make a fundraising that. song that brings the world together called yes. You Can Dip Your Fry in My Frosty. Damn. Isn't that like a, a Michael Jackson song that, that he did or something? What's up? Like he had like a whole bunch of artists like singing about the earth or whatever. Little Dicky? No, no, no. It was Michael Jackson or something. I'm pretty sure it was him. Or it was he was in it. <laughs> David, no, I'm sorry. David flipped off his background and it was his bedroom and I was like, oh look, he got a background of his bed <laughs> <laughs> completely negating the fact that he's in his bedroom yeah, where the man lives but sorry that just caught it's me all good <laughs> it's good content oh cool nice backdrop man i yeah, love the like, dark side it. too it looks like your wall in your house yeah, yeah over, so i can see your dark side oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what? my black hole daddy oh, oh shit my God. holy shit <laughs> all right. oh no Getting a little comfortable. Yeah. Saucy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Not that one. Yeah. What are the social implications of setting my Zoom background in my bedroom? What? <laughs> I had, um... No, I actually, uh... For my Zoom backgrounds, I had a folder where huh. I would drop cool things that I'd find. I had one with Anthony Fantano and his reviews. I have his bookcase and green screen album cover. <laughs> Dropped in. I have the office camera. Like, you know, when they sit down and they're talking to them one on one mm. and they have that window behind them. I have that. Nice. I have a couple of animated ones. I have one with the dog in that room that says this is fine. Where Hell yeah. Him, it's him sitting in the chair. Yeah, and it was just a fun thing to sit there and switch through them and see if anybody noticed. And nobody ever did because nobody gave a shit in Zoom University. Yeah. Yeah. Zoom most people University. just had their mm -hmm. most people just had like their webcams off and it was just a uh, online and it's yeah. their name. Pretty much, that's what I did. The the thing that I always say is uh Nevada's quarterback, Carson Strong, is um he's going up into the draft this year. And he might be a first round pick if people are ne that needy for a quarterback. Um I always tell the story. I was like, I was actually in a uh, a Zoom call with him, and we took the same marketing class, or it was a business management class, one of the two, and we were put into a breakout room to work on a project, and he didn't contribute at all. And no, and he got straight A for it. And, and, and guy probably got a straight A, and he goes and plays, and has a wonderful season in Nevada. He's gonna be drafted, first round. And I'm gonna have to forever live with the memory of this dude. 
getting sitting drafted in, my in the classroom. first round. Yeah, he's probably going to go quarterback for the fucking Broncos or something stupid. And I'm going to have to see him and go, hey, that's the guy that didn't participate. And I <laughs> one, of his, one of his games be like, you owe me a million dollars because you didn't participate in our college Dad, class, I helped you, you I helped you pass that class, remember? I'm the reason you got an A. <laughs> Give me money. <laughs> But I've got a Bud Light in my hand, and I'm just belligerently screaming as a Raiders fan. <laughs> 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 That's gonna Give go back my money. <laughs> we gotta go see a Raiders game. Cobb Bros. Raiders game. Cobb Bros. Raiders game. Cobb Co oh, Bros. Yeah. Raiders trip to Vegas? Play the Niners in Vegas this year. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, we can, like, get Brandon to tag along. Hell yeah. yeah. The, the rules for being able to attend those events. Vaccinated. Nothing less. Yeah, yeah, there's no yeah. negative test or anything. Raider, the Raiders, the Raiders require have required it, right? Vaccination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is, I mean, it, they have vaccination stations at the door, so if you really want to go into a Raiders game where you can stand outside and just yell at the clouds or something, that doesn't, you can do, it, do whatever wait, you want. Getting have, vaccinated entering a venue does not do anything the, for immunizing no. you. They're just, they're just trying <laughs> to get just people the push vaccinated. Of the effort. It takes. 14 no. days for we all, a vaccine to become fully effective in your body. It's their way of getting people that show up to the game and realize, what the fuck? It gives them the yeah. option to walk through the door so that they aren't turned away. They yeah. go, you can get into the game if you Just have take a vaccine. Just take the shot. <laughs> because basically you take download the, the app shot. on your phone. And you get the vax Yummy. pass so that you can just bypass the gate so you don't have to fucking talk to anybody or show anybody cards or shit like that. Because some people are really adamant about, oh, you can't see my vax card. It's private. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> okay. I, 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 I understand huh? the argument behind that, but I also think it's lame as hell because you got people that go onto Facebook and complain about the fucking STD they caught the other week. <laughs> that That's them. <laughs> that is them choosing yeah. to personally classify their health some people say some weird shit on snapchat and instagram stories that i just i don't think a card is really gonna <laughs> violate i mean uh yeah, yeah i mean the, the most embarrassing thing about my vaccination card is that it says i was in a cvs so don't go to cvs go somewhere else <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's just a weird shot. It was the Fucking only ones available when push. I got it, so I had yeah. to go to CBS. Walgreens is like, uh, eat shit, dickhead. And, <laughs> the and I did. You and, our, you and our health center is like, you think we have those? Come on. Where do you yeah. think your tuition's going? <laughs> Who do you think we are, huh? Right Not in Carson here, Wentz market, pocket. Not Carson yeah. Wentz. Carson Strong. Carson Strong. Carson Strong. God he damn went it. to Carson Strong's pocket, pocket so he could fucking sit around and not do shit while I'm <laughs> you know, pick it, picking up his ass and marketing. <laughs> Why the it. fuck did he even take marketing if he's playing football? Uh, well, I mean, he, he didn't graduate. He's, de he's declaring for the draft as a junior. Uh... So, he might come back and finish school someday, but if not, I don't think... UNR might have associates programs, but uh, obviously I didn't do it. <laughs> That's I wish I would have... Yeah, the only thing I would have changed about my college experience is got a associates at a community college, then moved to the university. Really? Yeah. F four years at a university is kind of a waste, unless you're a frat boy. Oh. Yes, yeah, I is all right. <laughs> for life, bro. You want to listen to the new Mac Miller, dude? Token's got a song out. <laughs> oh, my God. If you listen to Tom McDonald. Dude, dude Brother Jules just came out the album. Bro, he says some deep shit. You just don't understand. Yeah, you know Logic? <laughs> yeah, bro, that's a favorite rapper. You want to you, you bring a cloth, bro? <laughs> you got cloth? <laughs> You wanna get drunk and go to a party, dog? Dude, I'm balling a budget. All my dad would get me is PBR and Bush Light, bro. <laughs> We're gonna have to fucking make do. I don't know you're 21 until next week, man. Yeah, hey, you gotta get some booze. What are we gonna bro? do for beer at this party, dude? Me and Ashley, you're gonna be taking shots of Fireball in the parking lot. You guys wanna come with us? <laughs> I don't know. We got a pregame, man. Carly might be there. <laughs> you, I. Oh, I know how dude, you feel I about know Carly. Got the for Carly too. Hey, you need to talk to Carly. What's going on? <laughs> People ask me why I didn't want to join a frat, and that's why. Exactly. You just be making fun of everybody. No, and everyone would come up to you for help. Man, I used to park next to one of the frat houses because there's free available parking. <laughs> hey, I know that house. Walking by every night is always just dudes shouting in one room. It's always the same fucking room of a the house. They must hate the guy that lives in that room. Mm -hmm. Just constant shouting and beer bottle shattering. 
And then when they have a party, there's a park conveniently right next to their uh, their frat house. And the whole thing about their fraternity is that they keep the park clean. Like, they go out there and they clean it up, which is actually really nice. Okay, that's pretty what dope. Is, there's a ton of fucking beer bottles complain. out there. There's a reason it's dirty. Well, they pick it up God, afterwards. Yeah, at least they pick it up afterwards, but I'm not going to pat them on the back for doing something the, the bare head. minimum. We'll pick up all of our garbage <laughs> if you don't make the noise complaints about us throwing the party that we're inevitably going to throw, even if you have a noise complaint. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry, not sorry. Fuck. Sorry, not sorry. Didn't mean to. I don't know. There's cool things about being in a frat and a sorority, but sometimes you get caught up in some of the dumb shit, too. I yeah. love drama, live, I'm sure. I could not live in a frat house. Yeah. I'd start fighting too much, people. Dude, pick too clean, much you, stupid shit dude, going on. Pick up on. your shit. Like, people, I see oh, yeah. of people that are in, like, dirty frat houses, and people are like, you need to clean it up. It's like, you've never been in a frat house. That is, like, the second lowest thing to worry about on their list besides Carly. <laughs> besides Carly. <laughs> <laughs> They're worried about three things, and that is pussy, beer, and food. Yep. You also forgot uh, pissing away your dad's tuition money. Yeah. <laughs> School, school's at the very bottom well, that, of that, that list. That goes to to the the pussy, the beer, and the food. Yeah. Yeah, it just gets redistributed among the three. It's all right. Exactly. <laughs> all right. And now that we've got that settled. It's yeah. Take, it's taken from the education and moved to the other three dividends. Nice. See, we, and you wouldn't know that if you didn't go to university. I yeah. didn't. I, oh, I went to two terms. <laughs> there you go. See? And then <laughs> I dropped out. Nice. Then he dropped out. Man. Yeah, because oh. I, I kept... I remember because I got... I kept getting kids coming up to me. They're like, you should, you should join a frat, dude. Because when I started my engineering, there was an engineering frat. And it's the exact opposite of what you think it is. It's like a frat that engineers specifically flock towards too so they can put it on their resumes and say they were in a fraternity mm. and then they go and they do stuff every once in a while it was more of a club than it was a frat yeah sure. engineering okay. club mm -hmm. yeah and basically they took in very minor and then i remember there was a sorority exclusively for engineering women and i don't remember how many people were in it because nobody wanted to join it and there weren't a lot of women engineers they right. even made that a point when i took my intro engineering class they're like look around this class is and they, they even said it. They were like, this class is 93% males. They're like, look, look. And it was the intro engineering course. It wasn't Jesus. like we were far in. And you seriously stand up, look around, and go, oh, shit. To let the women that were taking the class know that getting a position in this career as a woman is going it's to be extraordinarily difficult. It's going to be difficult because you need to get through the coursework. But Well, they won't be, they won't be treated fairly even if they make it all the way through. If you need a diversity hire... Being a woman engineer is a much higher step. Like, I recognize that I was accepted into the university because I was native. I'm not going to lie about that. Yeah, you? they need, nah. they need to boost their diversity numbers. Nah. So they're like, oh, you're native? Bro, just tick the Alaskan uh, Pacific Northern <laughs> Islander box. You Alaskan. remember that shit? It's Alaskan. Like Alaskan <laughs> slash Native American or Pacific Islander. They're, they're that checkbox that they're like, hey, that's huh. the cool one. You want to do that one. That's... And that gets them money because there's yep. not a lot of those yep it's so, yeah they get the diversity higher it's mm -hmm. just like I, the cart pushers at walmart yeah i told tyson because tyson you know he passed high school but he didn't do too well in his english classes um i told him he could easily get accepted into unr and he's like but with my grades i was like they don't care about your grades as long as you weren't like a 0 0.3 student you're native. Did he, they will did he have like a C average? Yeah. He just had That's... a borderline C average. But I was like, you're a Nevada resident and you're native. You can get in. Yeah, a C average is more than acceptable to a standard like university. Like the least we could do for being offered plague blankets, okay? <laughs> plague blankets. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've had yeah. very deep conversations this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a couple of good ones, and uh, thank God for that because uh, it was heartbreaking when I kicked that power breaker, and uh, yeah, the hard drive flickered, and the whole first recording was corrupt. On the plus side, yep. now there's two of us that are simultaneously recording backups, so just in case two yep. of us could drop dead and we'd still have a recording. Oh, hold on now. God for sake. Two of us drop dead. Our biggest concern: where's this podcast that twenty <laughs> people at most are listening to? 
<laughs> yeah, but hey, you guys rock. So uh, keep it up. Yeah. Hey, hey, if I die, I still damn well expect this podcast to be live <laughs> by Thursday. It will be. By Thursday. <laughs> Better come out. Play it at my funeral. Exactly. Everybody's got to sit down He's while Sarah talks about Carly in the parking lot. In the background. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, and every one of you better be doing, you know, shots of fireball in your cars before coming into the wake. I already gave Brandon <laughs> permission. Does it have to be fireballs? If no. I die and there's like a uh, like a remembrance or something like that, get a casket. Even if you guys, cre- like my parents decide to cremate me, get a casket and he's allowed to play a solo on it, a guitar solo. <laughs> he's allowed. Wait, wait, he's allowed no. to. He has full permission to. He Get a casket and he needs to rise out of it playing a song. Yeah, and just pretend I'm in the casket, even if it's like, I don't know, put my hats in it or something. Ha! ha. Noted. <laughs> yeah. the, the door to the casket shut and Brandon just, you know, kind of rises out of it. Yeah, pretty much. I if told, I die, you can have my stuff. Just burn my hats. I told Brandon that on my funeral, he could play the intro to Halo 3, but just the, the choir part. But not on guitar. He's just not on guitar. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, people just be slowly filing in, just <laughs> continuously seeing. Just, just listen. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, everybody, we're gonna need you to gather in the porta potty. There's good acoustics in there. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's wonderful. You should really gather. So, David, I sent over the uh, <clears throat> for our, our let's play this week. We're doing a Super Bowl matchup. Go check it out. It'll be out by the time this podcast is recorded. Yes. Um, <laughs> We we Put couldn't in the comments. get Madden 22 recording because nobody wanted to buy it because that and we're not wasting our money. No, we're recording. No, we're not. And Madden 21 doesn't allow four people to play online because it is a dog shit franchise. So we decided to play Gang Beast instead. <laughs> Gang Beast is fun. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, it was. I'm fun. glad we did that. Brandon, so, I played it again the other night with uh Ben. Good. Spectacular. Good. Yeah. So I drew logos for the Bengals and the Rams. Yes, you did. I have those here, and they're beautiful. Congratulations for them for making it to the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm Dude, glad. honestly, I, uh, 80 years? I feel I, I feel good about whoever wins, honestly, as yeah. much as I want the Bengals to win. Yeah. But if the, I think Bengals, be nice if the Bengals win, then the Raiders lost to the team that won the Super Bowl. So by proxy, Dude, no shame in that. Third. Yeah, no shame in that. Hmm. Decent. Okay, I put in the Discord the logos that I drew. <laughs> I uh, I made them in uh, Microsoft Paint. What the fuck? They're beautiful. <laughs> They're fucking beautiful. No, why is that B so bangles. thick? Yeah, dude, that's thick. Got, you got a fucking the dog. Yeah. Dude, it's a bungle. Dude. It's a oh, bungle. The LA one is fucking money, dog. Like, yeah, that, that one's really LA fucking one good. That LA one came out way better than I thought it was. For you Microsoft Paint, you're a goddamn... On that one. Yeah. <laughs> That one's so good that it actually looks like the Rams logo. Yeah, it I'll really be sure to put these in the video. Okay. The Bengals one? Microsoft eh. Paint. No, you did it in Microsoft Paint. Like, this is I really did. good. The B is prolonged, but if with it was mouse. prolonged. Yeah. Yeah, you did that with a mouse, not a drawing tablet. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, really gorgeous. good. Gorgeous. Yeah. I'll be sure to put those in the video until everyone can see them. Oh, yeah. They'll be in the Gang Beast. Or, like, or watch the video itself. Yeah, yeah. actually, go just go Gang watch Beast the Gang Beast video, you sons of guns. It's going to be yes. titled as twenty or Super Bowl 56. So it'll be aptly accessible, I guess. Yep. It'll you be find it easy. right in the middle of the screen right now. Uh-oh, click on the link. Guys, go watch it. Go watch it. What are you doing? Go watch it, doll. Well, now you finish this one first. Watch it. Finish this first, then go watch that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, make sure you go give 20 likes to that video, or everyone's going to go meet Carly in the parking lot for Fireball. Watch our video. Cursed. All right. Well, <clears throat> if you guys are ready, I think it's a good time to wrap up. We've been at it for a little so over an hour. Um, like, subscribe. Stay yeah. for the bubble, 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 week. All of those good things. You guys know where to find us. <gasps> Cobros. Okay. PC. Sorry. This, sorry. So I just came up. I got an exclusive. I was just go browsing. And I just figured out. Okay. So we were we were talking nice. earlier about why Steve wasn't allowed the at the premiere for Jackass Forever, right? Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. I just found out it's because on every interview he kept plugging his merchandise for his website. <laughs> so he didn't want to keep plugging his merchandise. So he didn't. He want does to have a hot sauce. <laughs> he yeah. Does, yeah. Go Steve. Steve o. O. Destroyer. Go, Steve. Steve-o, we love you. <laughs> yeah. Steve-o, I've been around since the first Jackass. I, you are a hero of mine. There you go. Everyone has hot sauce now. 
Yeah. Everybody has fucking hot sauce. If That's... you want to go to a band's website, they have hot sauce. You've, You've got the, the show Hot Ones on YouTube to thank for that. Yep. Thanks, Devo. No, that's not even Steve-O, it's, it's the show Hot Ones with Sean Evans. Oh, yeah. They made their hot sauce, and everyone's like, yeah, we can sell hot sauce, too. Yeah. Yep. People are interested in hot sauce. Chicken wings, hot, hot sauce. I made the connection. Hot sauce is cheap to make, and it makes money. Yep. Fair. Chicken wings. Yeah. Chicken, wing. Chicken wings and Chicken hot wing. sauce. It's very, uh, very relevant. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice to like this video. Or, to the podcast. Cool. Like other videos. Patreon. Make sure you support us on Patreon. We're trying to get content out on there. It's hard when we have no supporters. It it demoralizes us. Help us help you. We'll make content. You need to support us. Yeah. Support us now. Me money, me now. Support us uh, on Patreon and we can start throwing content up there <laughs> on the regular. Yeah. yeah, we're using Patreon money to just upgrade our equipment and just increase the production quality of the show. Yeah, and in all honesty, called. any money that we would end up making from YouTube if we get monetized is going to go right back into the channel and making everything better. We anyway. want to make, yeah, we want to make it better. It's it's a goal of ours. Quality first, profit second. Yep, yeah. this is an upward trend from here, boys and gals. Leave feedback, even yeah. if you listen to this seven years down the road. Leave feedback. We need your feedback. We yeah. want to be better. Put, put in the Come comments. Come back and check the pilot. Even, put in the comments. Who thinks going to win the Super Bowl? For this year, and if you are listening at seventy years in the future, don't ruin it for everything. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you've traveled back in time, please don't. Spoil Whoa, hey buddy, don't Google Super Bowl Fifty Six. You're gonna get spoilers now. You see? Yeah, see, don't do it now. I already Easy, own the Blu-ray. <laughs> I own the Blu-ray. I own the entire CD's collection. This guy's like, I own the exclusive rights to the NFL. I'm gonna fuck I'm with Tyson this year. Future. He's a Falcons fan. For the, I'm gonna get him a a Blu-ray of Super Bowl Fifty One. Just nice. so that he can, like, but I'm going to, like, chop away the fourth quarter and then put in, like, a Madden simulation of the Falcons winning the Super Bowl <laughs> and Tom Brady angrily kicking dirt as he's getting off the field. <laughs> the, like, the true ending. Nice. Yeah. I would like it. I don't know. I, I think I feel like, like that's it. appropriate. Yeah. yeah. All right, folks. All right, let's cut it short this week. Listen Join to us beat. next week, you sons of guns. I was going to say Your bitches, but it guns. just doesn't feel right. No, no why would you? They're not bitches. They're bro. They're the homies, man. Come on. You they're the colonels. Sons of colonels. Yeah, sons there you of go. Colonels. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Colton. You, you sons of corn. <laughs> sons of corn. You son of a corn. Uh, all right. Go Bengals. Go Bengals. Go Bengals. See y'all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Cabros news flash. Cabros news flash. Unfortunately, on this week's episode, there is no beat of the week. Cyrus wasn't able to get one done in time. He's feeling a little under the weather. He's feeling a little sick. There is no beat of the week. I repeat, there's no beat of the week. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs>